This is where I put my keys, my wallet, and then two fake plants, and a shoe, something, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and then here, I have my closet. I really love the size of this closet. It's so big. I finally have all the space I need for my jacket, my coats, my shoes, my purses, and here's all my winter jacket, my yoga mats, and everything that I have for exercising. Over here is my favorite thing about this condo. I love, I love how white and minimalist looking it is. It has a lot of storage space. I usually use my kitchen cupboard to store all my books. I have I think possibly close to maybe I say 50 books at this moment and I have some plates, stationery, lots of notebooks here is just pen, random stuff and um, I have mugs, supplements, kettle, placemat <laughs> and here's my fridge as always it's pretty empty because I don't cook much uh, at all. So it's just drinks, milk, um, yogurt, my freezer and my fridge. And I just love how like, you know, integrated it is into the kitchen. I like to keep my countertop as clean and as minimalist looking as possible. Sometimes I don't even keep these things on here. Like honestly, so now I just have this and then I would have this in here but most of the time I have it on here just so it's more convenient for me to wash my hands Other than that, I love just how clean it looks and over here I have my dining table and two chairs I love this marble dining table This is the first time that I ever used marble table and let me tell you, it's so hard to maintain. I remember the first day that I got this, I was drinking like a smoothie and I didn't know that marble is, you know, a super sensitive material. So I put the smoothie cup on the marble table and I think I should only put it on for like five seconds. And when I went to take a sip, the cup has left a huge stain on the marble table. Thankfully, I was able to remove it by just scrubbing for like 10 minutes and you know so that's something about marble like you really have to be really vigilant about not putting anything on it without using a coaster or placemats but i absolutely love 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 the look of this marble table so so nice and it looks so amazing with with my countertop i'm not sure what the material of this countertop is but uh, it's really durable, I can put anything on it, no problem, but these two match really well together and I love it. The chair, however, I'm not 100% sure about this chair. I feel like I made one new dining chair and I'm gonna put a picture of that here. Um, so let me know. I'm like, I just got this like two days ago, I just got this set. I'm still eligible for return or exchange so I might just I might just go with the other chair but let me know maybe it looks good enough I don't know so you help me decide <laughs> and over here is my living room or living space I use a lot of furniture that I showed you in my last apartment tour video in Mississauga it's still the same couch it's still the same plan still the same coffee table still the same console table and that's what I love about it. Like I don't want to like buy a bunch of new furniture every time I move. And I'm really happy that I could just reuse my existing furniture for this new apartment. You may have noticed that I no longer have a TV with me. And that's a decision that I made just last month. I decided to not watch the TV. 
uh, anymore and so I gave the TV to one of my friends you know to make my space even more minimalist it is true I did not feel the need to keep any pants when I decluttered my closet I really like how I set up everything here on this table of course I love 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 my silver plaque from YouTube and it's all thanks to you thank you so much for subscribing to this channel this is humidifier because you really need humidifier in Canada it gets really dry especially in the not in the summer especially in the winter so I like to have humidifier on every now and then uh, just so you know my skin don't get too dry and this is um, uh, an oil diffuser and I love the porcelain it's not porcelain I don't know ceramic I love the ceramic finish of this oil diffuser. Here I just have like a bunch of paperwork and this is my diploma. <laughs> and I, in my last apartment, I used to put books here, but now I kind of like the empty look of it, you know, even more minimalistic. Before we continue the tour, I just want to say a quick thank you to today's video sponsor, Caseify. I've been a fan of them for such a long time and have owned quite a lot of cases from Caseify over the years. What I love about their cases is their amazing drop protection. Their Chi Take 2.0 technology is drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet. They feature a lifted camera ring and a raised front bezel for all angle protection too. And let me tell you, their cases have saved my phone's countless times and now I never worry when I drop my phone. Also, Caseify new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. They are also compatible with 5G and wireless charging as well. Caseify cases come in tons of designs so you can pick your favorite color or print and match your phone to your style or fit your mood. You can also add your name or monogram for a truly custom case. Caseify cases are 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. They also feature an antimicrobial coating that keeps your case germ-free, killing 99% of bacteria. Go to caseify.com slash claradow to save 15% off your order. Thanks to Caseify again for supporting me. And now let's get back to the tour. And here, I have the three electric handles that have run out of batteries. Doesn't turn on anymore, but I like the look of it, so that's why I have it here. I should change the battery. And I have two side tables. It's, these two side tables are actually part of this set. It's a set of three tables together. So I use the biggest table for the coffee table and the two smaller tables for you know, side tables. And here you can see my only real plant in this apartment. <laughs> Everything else that you see is just artificial but the reason why I have it here is I honestly don't know so this mirror used to be above the entryway table but when I moved to this apartment I feel like it would fit so well with this floor and this sofa and I'm so happy that I put it up because it's really complete the look without it this whole living space feels kind of empty and the cool thing about this mirror is I can look at this mirror right now and I can see this mirror in the reflection so these two mirrors are kind of like I don't know it's kind of trippy it's kind of creepy sometimes especially if you look at the two mirrors at night but I, I love it because I can really see myself like in a 360 degrees Angle, like I could really just see everything because of the two mirror, how they reflect each other. Let's move on to my bedroom. So, this is a bedroom. It's basically a carbon copy of my last bedroom. Like I said, I don't really change any furniture, but what I upgraded from the last bedroom is the sheets. This is just pure silk. And I told people, like everyone I know, I've told them, you gotta get silk sheets, your life will change. You will feel like you sleep in heaven every night. And I don't know, you just gotta get silk sheets or at least a silk pillowcase to, to experience that. You know, once you go silk, you never go back. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. Here, I have another humidifier. 
because uh, like I said, it can get really dry, especially when you sleep. You want that extra humidity, especially like ar around your face. So um, you can stay young, I guess. <laughs> and then over here, oh, I want to show you the balcony. You may recognize this table. It was my old dining set. I really, really hope to sell it. So if you like the look of it, you know, it's a very, very nice dining set. You can contact me and I'll gladly go deliver it to you, <laughs> to your door and with a good price. I am selling this for 200 to 250 dollars Canadian so if you're in anywhere in the GTA or especially if you're in Toronto you know send me a DM on Instagram please 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 I really want to sell this but actually if I can't sell this I could use it as like walking slash outdoor dining table because just look at this look at the view that I get from here is so so beautiful so beautiful I could just spend the whole day here just but I I don't know why I don't <laughs> I always say that whenever I go outside to my balcony I'm like I can spend the whole day here but I never end up spending much time on my balcony so please help me take this Take this table, take these chairs. They're in perfect conditions. I'm telling you. Contact me. And over here, I have these, these large chairs. I lost the padding for, for the head. I could only wish that they don't have these weird padded here on the balcony because when I sat or lie on these large chairs, all I see is dots and dots and dots and the leg is kind of covered i only wish that they have clear glasses clear balcony it would be so much nicer but you know i can't complain when you know i have this view in front of me every single day i still feel like a dream every time i wake up and i'm like it is real it is what i'm seeing it is my, my view because it has been like my dreams forever yeah, it also has a glass line for barbecue, which most likely I would never use, but I always like to point it out to people because I have the option. And back here, let's go ahead and enter my, my office. I still have the same stand desk as before. I don't add much to my setting except for this lamp right here which is really convenient when I work at night, which I always do. I feel like my most active working hours are from midnight to 5 a.m. People always are like, why are you sending emails at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m.? Yeah, that's not because I wake up early. It's because I stay up super late and I work during night hours. This is where I usually have all my clothes, all my closet, and I really like that the closet is super big in my old place. My closet is literally just this, you know? And so all my clothes are super crammed together and the same as the mirror closet outside, like it's just this size. So I'm really happy that I got a bigger closet. So all my clothes now can be stored properly, can be stored freely, can be stored, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and over here, I have all my lightings. I have this. Let's see if you can guess it correctly. What is this for? <laughs> this is for the phone. Yes, just for the phone. Of course, you already know. This is for the DSLR camera. This is a tripod. A tri tri <laughs> this is a tripod for doing my DSLR. And these are just two giant soft box lights. This is my uh, my filming setup, my workstation setup. These, if you want to buy them, <laughs> contact me because I'm trying to, uh, to get rid of it. I don't want to donate it because 
I still kind of like the look of it with this space, but if you want to take it with the dining set, I'll be happy to offer it to you for free with the dining set. So just just take the dining set. And here I have all my electronics and cables and everything and my camera, which I should, you know, store probably in a different way. Just lots of random stuff like microphone, uh, external hard drive, camera battery, Kindle, some interesting lights. This will project like stars onto the ceiling. TikTok ad got me into buying it. And also, of course, the sunset lamp, which also thanks to TikTok, got me into buying all these. But sometimes they can be really helpful because I would feel like really cool video with like really cool lighting. So I'm happy that I got it. Here, this is my office chair and it's pretty worn down. Like, look at it. I only got it last year. Yeah, I only got it in 2021. It's already kind of like done for and the padding is like this thin. So when I sit for an extended amount of time, my butt really hurt. So I'm getting a new office chair, but it's not gonna come until the end of this weekend. I'm gonna show you a picture once it arrives. This will be changed. Yeah, we can forget the bathroom. This is the guest bathroom. I don't personally use this bathroom very much. Just wanna show you. <laughs> and then this is my primary washroom. This is the washroom that I use and all of my stuff are in here. Look at this. <laughs> Maybe not that minimalist. You know, at least on the counter top. It's just as empty as I like it. So on the counter top, I just have my Google Assistant, my new electric toothbrush and nothing else <laughs> and here yeah 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 i really want to show you this beautiful wood bath mat is something that i discovered recently i used to have fabric mats and i think that most of us have fabric mats it's just kind of get like you know like worn down it doesn't look as new as it used to look right so I was searching for an alternative that could look new and fresh all the time and that's how I found out about Wood Batman and these feel so good on the feet especially after I got out of the shower and you just gotta try it it makes me feel like I'm you know stepping in a spa and you know, I just really like my new Wood Batmans yeah, so that's my apartment. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Till next time, love yourself, be kind to yourself, and treat others the same way.